MLB The Show content sucked this week. So, it didn't leave us with very many options to use in this week's How to Pitch With video. So we're taking a shot. We're on Legend. Lord help us. It's probably gonna go poorly. But here we go, we've got Brandon Fott. Fought. Pafat. I, th I think it's Fought. This guy's nasty, this guy's gross. Tori Lovello, I think that's how you say his name. A bunch of names we don't know how to say. Tori Lovello doesn't like leaving him in games very long, despite the fact that he's disgusting, but we're gonna leave him in the game as long as humanly possible, because this kid's got a sinker, he's got some nasty stuff, we put him with a captain boost to make him even better, we're gonna go try to win a game. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Kenny, aka KDJTV. We post YouTube videos on MLB The Show Monday through Thursday, but every Thursday, I teach you how to pitch with somebody new. You see every single pitch I throw in a ranked seasons game, Hopefully nobody quits. Uh, you don't see any swings I take. This is not a traditional gameplay video. It's just to help you become a better pitcher. So let's go take a look at Brandon Fought. Brandon Fought, he is here. These are his base attributes with no captain boost. We will talk about the captain boost in a moment. He comes off the rip with only 92 stamina, which truly sucks, and that's entirely his manager's fault for not leaving him in the game longer. This card is from when he tossed five and two-thirds scoreless innings with 9Ks. This dude was Dyson against the Phillies, yet they pulled him immediately. 108 hit per nine, 98K per nine. I do wish that was a little bit higher. If we were like 105, 106, I'd be much happier. The breaks are great. The velo's not bad. Control... Needs a little help, but that's where we get some with a BB per nine boost from his captain boost. They added a sinker to this card, which is why he's semi-viable. It's not the best in terms of control. It does break a good amount. I think it's going to be nice to keep people off balance. The biggest problem with this card, other than the fact that his stamina is pretty bad, is that he throws two types of curveballs, a sweeping curve and a 12-6. I would have traded that 12-6 for a slider any day of the week, but this is what we have to work with. We've equipped a tier 3 Brandon Webb captain boost, which means we get a plus 15 to his BB per 9, a plus 15 to his clutch, which is huge, and a plus 10 to his hit per 9. It also unfortunately means that our pitching rotation is absolute horseshit. I'm recording this, by the way, after game 2, so it's tied 1-1. One to one. You'll be seeing this the day after game 5. I don't know if the series is done yet. I don't know who's leading the series. I don't know if the Diamondbacks are out, if the Rangers have won, vice versa. I don't know. If the series is still going, tell me down below in the comments who you think is going to win in game six or seven to take home the whole damn thing. We have a record of 108 and 30. We are rated 909. I have swung the bat nary a single time today. Let's go see what happens. All right, here we go. It took a while to find a game, so I had to let the meter run. I usually don't like doing that. We are the away team. Mark Mulder, Keith Hernandez, what the fuck is this team? Please don't be Shield Woods. Please don't be Shield Woods. Yeah, oh, it's Coors. That's... Better, but also not. Let me tell you, Mark Mulder on Legend, kind of nasty. Uh, here we go, Brandon fought against, you guessed it, Keith friggin' Hernandez. Let's see if the sinker away is good pitch. Beautiful, is good pitch. What am I saying? Is a good pitch? It was. Uh, let's throw a circle change. I want to test my opponent's patience. That was way too close to the gosh dang strike zone. All right, let's see if we could just pump this in the zone called strike three. No wastes. Okay, he fought that off. No waste pitches with Brandon Fott. He doesn't have a lot of stamina. We got to get in and get out and get done. 12-6. I'm hoping for a chase here. He did chase, but of course it's another foul ball. Uh, the, the K per 9, like we discussed with Fott, is not incredibly high. I wish it was better. That's three, th three straight foul balls now. <clears throat> That's a direct result of the K per 9 and probably Keith Hernandez's glitchy swing, if we're being honest. There we go. Got him on the strikeout. Nice changeup. Brandon Fott's changeup in real life is disgusting. Brandon Fott's changeup. I'm going to keep messing that up. I mean to say Fott every time I do it. Um, so I apologize to the Fott family. Oh, and we lo oh, and he's not going to field his position. He just let Ellie get that. Okay, thank God it's an out because Fott could have had that himself. We've got two away against this very odd lineup. Against an opponent that's not bad, though. So I don't really know what's going on. He almost no, swung at that. The problem is against lefties, we don't have much that we can attack people with inside. I mean, he swung at that. Couldn't tell you why. He doesn't have a cutter. He doesn't have a slider. Two pitches I'd love to have. But as you can see, we're working speeds in, out, up, down. I want to see if this four-seamer up and away is going to bite me. Oh, God, he hit the hell out of that. I think Acuna is going to get there, though. Come on, Ronnie. Let's go. All right. Clean first inning for Brandon. Fought. We're going to go hit.
my opponent just quit. So now I don't know what to do with Brandon Fought. I guess I'll try another game? See, that's what we in the business call unfortunate, because I threw, what, I don't know, go back to the tape. 14 pitches with Brandon Fought? And now he's a sleepy, tired boy. It's like he just ran a marathon. We'll probably only get like three innings max out of him in the next start. Here we go. Found a game much faster that time. We'll see what happens. We've locked him in. I'm petrified. I didn't want to play Legend once. Now we got to do it twice because, of course, that's how my life works. We're playing this fella. Never heard of him or her. Clayton Kershaw on the bump. I suck against him, and now it's on Legend. Joy. But at least with a home team. The record for my opponent is... 177, 126. A good record, but a winnable game. Okay, the key to attacking J-Rod is to throw hard stuff inside until it's proven that your opponent can turn on it. That's fine. That's inside. The thing with J-Rod is his swing is terrible. Inside hard stuff is tough to go for unless you completely sell out for it. Oh my god, and look at that. Soft away, he murdered it. It's an out, it's a long one, we're alive, but we're not throwing that again. Holy Christ. I didn't. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a inauspicious beginning. Ellie de la Cruz. Sinker inside. Paint it. All right. I'm liking so far Brandon Fott. He's a little scary because he's lacking some of the pitches we need. But I think he's kind of funky and I think his pitches move a good bit. So we should be able to have some success. I mean, we've five batters, five outs so far across two games. Small sample size, of course. But he's comfortable to use and I like his delivery. We're going to go sinker below the zone. And, oh my gosh, that stayed fair. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. I was hoping for a grounder, and that nonsense just happened. So now we got to pitch our way out of this because two out rallies are killers. It's Chipper Jones. I actually haven't seen Chipper in a while. I think, is this the Matt Brash delivery? I think it is. Because it, it reminds me of Matt Brash. That's a nice dotted freaking circle change there. All right, I'm going to keep living for this ground ball because I do not want Chipper to elevate something. Another weird hit. Okay, at least he hit that one better. I guess we have to not be below the zone anymore because it, 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 maybe we're, we're pitching in a pattern already. God, we're already exhausted on the mound. Jesus. All right, we got out of it. That's not where I wanted it, but we got out of it. A scoreless first inning. Brandon Fott is already... Brandon Fott, excuse me, is already destroyed. His arm is hanging off. We're going to ride him into the ground. Not a great first inning at the plate. I do not like facing Clayton Kershaw, let me tell you. But our goal here is to pitch and hopefully, hopefully get Brandon fought through a couple innings here. Sweeping curve. We're going to have to use that, I guess, instead of like a slider. But it's not the same pitch. So we have to be careful. Sinker away, I think, is going to be our best bet against these lefties. Yeah, that's what I want. Ground ball. Love that. One away and only two pitches. So that's good. We really have to pitch to contact, especially with le against lefties with fought. Against righties, we might be able to work some Ks because he's got some nasty stuff that moves a variety of directions. But against lefties, he's just he's just shorthanded. Um, and it's unfortunate because I think they could have built this card just a little better. I like Brandon Fought. I think he's fun. I think he's a future ace, if not kind of one already. Um, but he kind of got hoed a little bit with this postseason card. But now we've thrown four pitches and got two outs. And here's Cattell, who will most assuredly hurt me in this game. If it's not this at bat, it's going to happen at some point because that's all Cattell does is hurt me. Sinker below the zone. Sinker in the zone. Okay, it's a strike, it's a strike one. Uh, let's try the 12-6. This is going to be a pitch we'll have to mix in. We have to change eye levels and speeds. Thank you. Now, this is a purely a test. I don't expect to swing at this, but it doesn't hurt every once in a while to mix in a high fastball. Just to get your opponent thinking. You might not have much intent behind it, but it never hurts. And then we go below the zone and miss entirely. Note, we're almost out of energy already. So, I I'm not surprised our pitches are, are missing as much as they are. Got him. Yep, thank you. Okay, good at bat. Good pitch. We got a, a clean inning, which is all we can ask for at this point. I think our best bet is to get one more inning with Fought. I know that's not a great how to pitch with video, but that's kind of just where we're at. All right, I have Patrick Corbin fully ready in the bullpen at the first sign of trouble or after this inning. Oh my God, it's a one pitch out. I mean... He's helping me a lot here by swinging early in the count because Brandon Fought should not be in this game right now. 19 pitches and he's completely, completely gassed. Nice pitch. I'd love to try to get another strikeout, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen because the more the ball's put in play with low energy, the scarier things are going to get. Um, and we also established that Julio Rodriguez is not getting a circle change outside anymore. 
because he almost hit a leadoff homer in this game. So we're going to go back to the sinker, just buried on his hands. Oh, come on, Brady. Come on, buddy. Ah, the pitcher wall. It worked and didn't work at the same time. All right, no big deal. Leadoff runner. I'm going to work around this. This will be the end of the line for fun. Okay. I have to be careful because he's probably starting to assume I'm pitching that every time with a runner on base. Okay. And that is a awful hit. My opponent has four hits and three of them are terrible. Three of them are terrible. What do we do here? This is this is a problem. That was such a bad swing. Uh, okay, here we go. Don't hang. Nice get ahead or go ahead or first pitch. Get, get away. Go, go home. Strike. Okay, strike two. Let's see if we can completely bury this circle change. Change of eye level. No big deal. I'm going back to this. He has not turned on it yet. He still didn't turn on it. Go to third. Oh my god, you're so out if you go to third. Oh, I should have backpicked it second. Okay, two outs. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Brandon Fott here is is really, really fighting. Haha. <laughs> LOL. Sorry. Had to do it. Circle change in. Good take. This is where dangerous things are going to happen. We have zero energy left. Wow. And I'm leaving him in because I feel like I owe you guys an actual how to pitch with. Ah, oh, Christ. All right, this is it. All right, we walked him. Uh, goodbye, Brandon Fought. I don't think this is actually indicative of whether or not he's good or bad. I just think we got really screwed by an early quit. I would have loved to have thrown like a full game with him because I think he's kind of fun. I don't think he's excellent, but I think he's kind of fun. But here we go. I'll, I'll teach you guys how to pitch with Patrick Corbin too, I guess. I don't think we've done him yet. That was a terrible pitch. Uh, we're going to have to use this slider a lot because of his arm angle. Got him. See? Perfect. We got out of it right away. I made a smart managerial decision. Yes. Three of my opponent's four hits are the worst thing I've ever seen. And I just ended the inning with a perfect, perfect screaming ground out. So that's how Ramon is going to treat me in this one. Sinker inside with Corbin. Very nice. Patrick Corbin is very, very tough to hit. I don't care what his attributes look like. He is just a very effective pitcher. I think it has everything to do with his arm angle, if I'm being completely honest. I don't think it's anything to do with his attributes. His pitch mix helps, but I think it's truly his arm angle. As you see, we just dismantled Christian Yelich right there. Uh, Mookie Betts, we do have to be careful against, though. Hits lefties very well. That was a terrible circle changeup. That's okay. Good miss. Good miss. The slider inside is going to be our best friend to a righty, but it has to be off the plate. Like that, because we'll get jams, we'll get easy swing and misses like that. If we leave that inside on the plate, you turn and burn, and it's gone. So we do have to be picky-choosy with when we're throwing that and how we're throwing it. This 12-6 is going to be great to get people off balance. Almost as if I scripted it. And then Mookie Betts is a tiny tot. Let's see if he swings at this. Dude, I scripted, scripted that at-bat. Two away. Kettle Marty, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I like Patrick Corbin's slider as well. Because it's the type of slider that can live up in the zone. Not a lot of pitchers can throw that high slider. Corbin can. Because it's it's just... I guess it's a hard slider, and it it's less an up and down break and more a left to right break. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I mean, what a pitch. What a masterclass of Patrick Corbin. Let's go get some damn hits. I'm now 0 for 2 on perfects. And it's a nothing-nothing game. So we got to keep pitching. Patrick Corbin needs to carry me through the rest of this game. What a good slider he has, man. It's unbelievable. Everything he throws is tough to hit. Lefty, righty. What a dot. What a dot. And now we're just going to blow this sinker past him. Blow it past him. Oh, good take. That was actually perfect pitch. Exactly where I wanted it to. I didn't want that on the plate. A little bit off. Chase me. Okay. Good at bat so far. Let's see if we flail at this big 12-6. Okay, mm, on the plate. Didn't want it there. Just was at the top of the par region. Not necessarily my fault. Slider up and away. Adios. Oh, what a t hit. Three incredible takes in this at-bat. Um, I We're just going to keep living with this slider, I guess. Here we go. It was a weird animation there, too. But we got the out. Good at-bat. Really good at-bat against uh, Cody Bellinger there. Scary the entire time because Bellinger frightens me. Please don't hurt me. Strike one. One of the other pitches to lefties I'd like to start working in with Patrick Corbin. 
is the high and in slider, which is such a let's get weird type of pitch, but it's so effective with guys like Donaldson and Randy Johnson. Patrick Corbin's like a diet version of that, so we're going to use it. I have to move my camera down a little bit, I just realized. I've been having a lot of problems with the positioning of my face cam lately. That looks much better. Sorry about that, internet audience. Do we... Ugh, awful change up. Do we cha chase it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Um, well, here we go. Live a little. 12-6 on three and two. Got him! What a pitch. Dude, he's so much fun to use. He honestly is so fun to use. I, I don't think I'd recommend him over, like, the god-tier aces that exist. But with the new set coming tomorrow, maybe Patrick Corbin gets a little run. I don't know. He's not bad. This is going to be a tough play. Nice job. Two scores from Patty Corbin. I still don't have a hit because Ramon is hoeing me. Let's do that. My opponent made an error, and I immediately hit a perfect, perfect moonshot. We're on the board and leading to zero. We have one hit. It's horrible out here in these streets. But a first pitch out. Patrick Corbin's effing dicing right now. This slider, it basically is a cutter with how hard it is. It just breaks a little more, and it's accelerated when it breaks. So, use it as much as you want. Just don't leave it over the heart of the plate. That's such a good pitch. Um, Patrick Corbin, I didn't expect to be the hero we deserve in this video. But I am not complaining. I still wish this could have been exclusively Brandon fought. I blame my first opponent for being a baby back bitch. Um... But it's okay. We're using two Diamondbacks. Well, one former Diamondback pitcher. But this is a Diamondbacks card. So if it counts for anything, it counts. Uh, but we're having fun with Patrick Corbin. Clearly, he's effective. Especially on Legend, I get. I mean, look at what we're doing right now. I don't think we've let up a base runner. Have we let up a base runner with Patrick Corbin? Maybe one. He's incredible. A ho-hum inning for me at the plate. We got another perfect, perfect single and then smashed into a double play. But at this point, we only care about getting these outs. Let's go, Patrick Corbin. We only care about finishing this game and getting the win. It's clearly not been my day on offense. I'm two for four on perfects. I must be like 0 for 12 on goods. It's horrific. But at this point, all I care about is what's happening right now. We're just smashing the slider everywhere in the zone. Lefty, righty, doesn't matter. We're getting out. But Cattell Marte, my arch nemesis. I think everybody's arch nemesis. Everybody's favorite card and least favorite card at the same time. My goal with Cattell is hitting it on the ground. Cattell automatically kind of has that early rollover type of swing. It's just sometimes he gets under it, right? And that's what I wanted. I wanted the grounder. Now, four of my opponent's five hits are horseshit. Um... I got what I wanted, he just hit a hole. There's really nothing I could do there, but it was a 79 mile an hour exit velo. I'd say I accomplished the mission. Now we have to be careful. Now we have to be incredibly careful. That was a great pitch. This is what I want to do, the slider up and into a lefty. Yep, yep, if we can get that working and then tunnel this sinker off of it. Absolutely. friggin lootly Abs are friggin lootly I think he's looking for a slider, so I'm not going to give him one. Yes! That's smart pitching. That's smart pitching. We got out of it. My opponent's technically out hitting me, but it doesn't feel like it. I was finally blessed with some bullshit of my own. So now it's three to nothing. I had a leadoff double with Mickey Mantle, and then Mookie Betts hit like a 64 mile an hour single down the left field line to score him. And now we have to contend with a leadoff double. That might be Corbin's first base runner allowed. Gotta be careful. I am going to, just in case, warm up some people in the bullpen, because I don't want my opponent to get used to the look I'm giving him. And he might already have gotten used to it. So it's just good to be careful. Love that. First pitch, get me over type of strike, even though it was a ball. But he swung at it. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Two, uh, one out, sorry. Second batter, that's why I said two outs. One out. Um, I need to make sure we don't hang something. That is the biggest thing right now. I need my opponent to either expand the zone or get completely jammed on something. I think that's why I like the slider so much as he gets jammed on it, because the par region's so tiny. It's his primary pitch. He throws it just about wherever you need it to go. That's why it's, it's nothing special here. All the right-handed batters are getting hammered inside with that slider, especially on Legend. It's tough to turn on. And now he turned on it. Good. So now we don't throw it. Now we try something different. We stay outside instead of inside. Good miss. That's totally okay. Do we chase this 12-6 or beat it into the ground? No, not a competitive pitch, but that's fine. Go back to the sinker. 
Holy takes. Now we have to be super careful. Slide her in. Let's do it. Buckle up. Yes. He hit that on the screws, but he didn't get any air under it. Maybe a little jammed, a little late. We're through eight innings. It's three nothing. Hold me. All right, we're going to let Patty Corbin finish this out. He's been excellent. He's done every single thing I've asked. He's been better than I've even imagined. And you guys are seeing it here. We're doing nothing special. You could argue we're kind of trolling a little bit by exclusively throwing sliders inside. It's working, though. If it's working, I'm going to continue to do it. So one and one. Here's the slider. There you go. I'm going to throw it till you start hitting it. We have one out. We are two outs away from glory in a very weird how to pitch with video. You could argue this video was more about Patrick Corbin than Brandon fought. But that's the way the cookie crumbles from time to time. I'm going to throw a circle change outside and pucker up the entire time. Oh, 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 that was a bang zone pitch. He was just too early. That was a pitch that should have been obliterated. We missed our spot. No big deal. Up and in. Yeah, see, that's, that's the slider right there. And now, chase me. Be early. Swing weird. Absolutely. That's two outs. Seven Ks. Mookie Betts is our final boss fight. Let's see if we can get him here. We've only allowed six hits. Four of them have been complete and utter horseshit. I myself only have like four or five hits. It hasn't been pretty on offense for either side. But at least the game's been fast. 12-6. Okay, he's on that a little bit. But... I think it's time we blow him away with the four-seamer above the zone. Goodbye. Thank you! That's a victory! Patty Corbs is the player of the game. Six and a third, two hits, eight strikeouts, no walks, no runs. We threw a shutout. Brandon fought, kind of contributed to it. That brings us up to 929 rated. I think that's the highest we've been all year. Look at us go. So Brandon fought finishes today's video three and two thirds innings pitched by no fault of his own. A 1.36 whip because he let up a lot of stinky, shitty hits and the walk. Two strikeouts, a win. Listen, I would have loved to have used him more. It's just unfortunate that my first opponent kind of ruined everything. Ultimately, I don't think Brandon Fought is like a true meta pitcher. He is fun, and I'm not going to prevent you from using him in fun situations, or if you're a D-backs fan. But if you're trying to win in ranked seasons, I would probably avoid him. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below who you think is going to win the World Series if it's not already over, and what you think about Brandon Fought. Make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 2K and every little bit helps. See you guys next time.